Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevTactic and the Ionic Academy. In this video, I will show you how you can use CSV data inside your Ionic app. So I've created a blank new Ionic app. It is already running and I also added some dummy data to my app. So a CSV file is basically a comma separated values file. Um, you can export this from Excel. Sometimes you get this from clients. Um, and I just created um, a few lines here. So we got some data for our app. Now what we need to install additionally into our app is first of all the Papa Parse plugin. Um, Papa Parse is, as you can see, a powerful CSV parser. And also additionally to this package, you can install the types for this. Um, so you get more auto completion and stuff like this if you do this. So this package can do uh, almost anything. So we can convert to JSON, we can convert back from JSON. Um, if you want to, you can have some config files and even download from an URL and stuff like this. So it's a really powerful tool and we will only touch the basics here, but um, I think those will be enough to get started with this package. But first of all, um, we need the HTTP module. So go ahead, import the HTTP module from an Angular HTTP because we need to uh, load our local file. So let's continue to our home. Now, of course, you can find this dummy data in the uh, blog post according to this video. So here we need to import and we import it as Papa from there it is. All right. And we also need the uh, HTTP from again, Angular HTTP to open our file. Now add this here as well. And then we can go ahead. So let's make a function, um, first of all, to read CSV data. And we will call this here. So everything is nicely separated. First, get our file, which is in assets dummy data. CSV and then we subscribe to the result and if we get some data we call another function which will um, extract the data with a response so this extract data with the data and if we hit an error perhaps uh, craft a function handle error and this one will be called in this case okay now we're good here and at this point we got um, the data from our file so it's actually super simple um, but first of all add a check so that we load the body of the response here um, I don't know if we could map this before perhaps, but just as a fallback, we use this way. And then we go ahead, let parse data. And now we use Papa the first time and we call the parse function, which expects a CSV string or data. So we use CSV data and from the result, we only want the data. So this line already does everything um, we need. So this will go into the um, CSV file and split this up, uh, look for the delimiter and handle everything. So this is then an array of all the values we got. But, um, there are two things. So we got the CSV data in the end, um, which will be an array. And we also got the header row, which is the same uh, array. 
and we separate them here. So we say our header row is parse data at the position zero, perhaps at a check um, if there's a row zero, but I'm pretty sure there is in this case. And then we splice it out. So the first is gone then. And now we can set our actual CSV data to the parse data. And then we got a header row of values and we got the CSV data array of arrays, uh, I think. And we can use them now. So handle error, whatever. Um, perhaps we leave this out for now. But this one is important as well. So we not only want to show the data, we want to make it editable and finally download it again. So to convert our current data back to a CSV file, we can use unparse and it's almost the same, but um, we specify the header fields, which is this dot header row and then the data, which is this dot CSV data. And to show you that it's actually working, I will copy in a, uh, some simple HTML hack. So this will create a new element from our data and click on this element and remove it. So really ugly code here, but um, it's just so we can download the file um, and see that we've actually changed something in the file. The last one we need um, we could do this in a second, but let's do it right now. Um, perhaps you might already know why we have this. Um, this is this very simple track by function for our Angular array, because we will iterate over our CSV data in the view and we will change the data. And um, you lose the input for the fields sometimes and this track by function solves this problem so we don't lose input if we change our data. Now let's go um, back to this or uh, yeah. Let's see if it's still loading. Oh yeah, that's a good sign. So I didn't fuck up anything today, which makes me kind of happy. So let's go ahead with the view and uh, we don't need this anymore for now. Um, of course, like this and this, because we need a download button. So a simple ion button, icon only, and on click, we want to call our uh, download CSV function. So then ion icon, and this should be download here. So we got the icon ready now. Uh, we can remove this and now we start with the implementation for our table. Um, we could use just a bare table um, but I recommend putting it into an ion scroll so you can actually scroll the table and we can make the table a bit bigger. Um, scroll Y and also we add a class here, which we will fill in a second. Um, okay, because most of the time those tables won't fit on just one screen, especially if you target um, like an iPhone, uh, which is really super small. So this is the data table. And now uh, the fun begins. So we built a header row and this row is still quite easy. We say let header of header row. Um, we want to center our text and then we make this a bit bold and simply print out the header. So this is then our header row, perhaps it already appears, yes. And as you can see, the ion scroll is, well, we could scroll it, but it's super small. And therefore we want this to cover the whole screen or in your case, however big you want to have it. So I say data scroll 
inside the CSS position absolute uh, top zero bottom zero left zero and guess what right is 100 now it's of course zero and then you see that it's completely visible and it covers the whole screen so we got all the space for our data scroll now um, I also added data table here because I found that if we give this a min width of um, whatever fits your case um, perhaps make it flexible make a calculation I will just put it to 800 then we see that the rows look a lot better um, on an iPad this would actually look quite good now um, but for now it's also okay and we can scroll them so it's the best we can do without cutting all the information now um, after our header row we get back and now it gets a bit more tricky so we need first of all to iterate over all the rows of our actual CSV data um, we use the index and um, now we got a row for each entry in the CSV data now we need to craft cells for each um, let data of row so every cell is one column um, then we need the index again and finally we need the track by function so we don't lose focus so track by function which we crafted before um, this is already almost the full magic here now we just need the ion input um, set the type to text add the ng model so we can actually um, change the data and the model for each input will be csv data uh, the first index we used and then the second index and that's it so let's see there is the data from the csv file i can go through it i could change this to whatever what you like you could change the dates the numbers of course there's no validation here um, but it's just a simple example so now we've changed a few rows um, and if we hit download we see that we got this new file let me open it um, and yeah, perhaps it takes a second oh, come on um, is there anything else we could do by now no I don't think so um, there it comes so there we got it um, well, let's see oh come on that's not what I wanted I want to zoom in yes there it is so you can see uh, max ban invalid whatever uh, different ID so all the changes we made inside our ionic app to the uh, json data or array data is now back transferred into the csv file and you can give this out so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel for more ionic videos and also check out the ionicacademy.com if you're interested in truly learning ionic with courses and a great community i hope to see you in the next video have a great day take care and goodbye